Hello all and welcome back to Missledyne Online. In this video, this is going to be another one of our Loose Ends videos. Pretty much one of the biggest ones we've done so far, and this includes all of the Chocograph locations throughout Final Fantasy IX. Some of the footage that you're seeing in the background was actually captured during the actual walkthrough, so I've had to find other music to supplement because either the walkthrough quality just wasn't as good as the walkthrough finally became, or, or other reasons, so I apologize if anything seems a little out of whack. I promise, once we get past the first four chocographs, the quality will get better because it was all done in one clean shot. So, the first thing that you're noticing right in the background is, uh, this is us finally learning, or being able to learn about Chocobo Hot and Cold, and we found our first chocograph, the Streamside. Streamside is the easiest one to find, and it was the first one we found. Now, a little tip about going through this video for you if you're finding, if you're lost on any particular thing. In the description below, there should be timestamps. However, you can also just scroll through the video and you'll see little things like you're seeing right now show up, or should be, that says stream side, big lettering. You can just scroll through and find any chocograph by its name based on where it is in the video, just by scrolling. The letters are, will be in the video itself. So it should be super easy to find. Of course, this first one we're going to do, again, is Streamside. For Streamside, you literally just want to exit Chocobo Forest, and this can be done at pretty much any time. Go to Chocobo Forest and run all the way to your right across the little bridge that you've already crossed to get to Chocobo Forest, and there you go, this is Streamside actually right there, and boom, first shot, we discovered a treasure chest. And we'll get a few items, some elixirs, Three high potions, and yeah, so quite a haul. Those Germina's boots are pretty good early on in the story. The next one is actually called Between the Mountains, and the easiest way to do this is from the stream side location. You actually just want to go until you find the two mountains, uh, and hopefully I edited this video so that it came out a little bit cleaner because the walkthrough was a little bit messy for this part. And you want to go all the way basically across. You can see on the minimap where we are right now. This is actually where Between the Mountains Chocograph actually is. And as you can see, we are doing Between the Mountains. Or Between Mountains, I should say. And then all you want to do is you want to run up towards the mountain. You basically want to be in between both of them and start kind of digging around there. Keep keep queeing and you should be fine. And there it is, found a treasure chest. And this is going to be mostly healing potions, potions high potions, two tents, and two cotton robes. Really not a good haul from this one. In fact, it's kind of crummy, actually, but super easy to get to. Now the next one that, the next chocograph on the list is actually the Healing Shore. The Healing Shore is going to bring us to Burmica. The reason that one's next is because it was actually done in order that way on the walkthrough, just because that was the closest area that we actually had access to at this time. So we ended up going and doing the Healing Shore by Burmica. Now you can see on your map where we are. Or actually you can't because I for some reason didn't open it yet. And there you go, Healing Shore. And there we go, there's the mini-map, <laughs> perfect. And it should be over in this area, you'll see again, it's kind of between the mountains again, but it's a little bit closer to the shore. So just keep digging around and there it is! Boom shakalaka! And you'll get a bunch of cool items from this. Just kidding! We're getting very sleepy, and now we are teleporting to a different world. Looks like Choco's all alone. All alone indeed. Now this is the first time that you actually get to see this area, and this is Chocobo's Dream World! Now you'll actually not come here very often, you only have a few times, and it's not like you can actually move around and explore this area. This is actually just where Choco gets upgraded. And the first one he's going to get is he's going to turn a light blue. Uh, and he's going to gain the ability to cross shallow waters and rivers and stuff like that. And after that is then mountains, and after that is oceans, and then after that is the gold Chocobo who can fly. But he can only take off in forest. And he can do everything else that the other Chocobos can do. And 
and he's gone. The next chocograph on our list is actually the Cold Fields, which is, or Cold Field, I should say, which is actually right by Estogaza. It's on the beach that the Blue Narciss lands on when you're chasing Kuja to Mount Galug. So it's super easy to find. Just call them the Chocobo right on the beach there, and it'll be over by the corner here. Just keep Queen around. And there it is! You got another treasure chest. And this one's actually got some pretty cool things. Uh, the high potions and echo screens and tents don't matter, but the theater ship guard is pretty cool. Okay, so for one of the Chocobo tracks that we don't have yet, uh, go to the Evil Forest and you'll see these Chocobo tracks right outside of it. So you want to get on your Chocobo, you'll see where we are, right here in the Evil Forest. Now you want to follow, if you press start you can see, you want to follow this river all the way this way. Am I wrong? I'm wrong. So actually, you can kind of see it's right here. See on your map how that kind of looks similar? There we go. And in that we have... 10 antidotes, 1 jade armlet, 3 wing edges, and 1 cargo ship card. Nice! And then the next one we want to go to is we want to open our chocograph menu. And we want to select the abandoned beach. Now, after we get these four, we have Abandoned Beach, Faraway Lagoon, and Bird's Eye Lagoon, and Small Beach. As soon as we have those, we're going to go to the next uh, Chocobo Hot and Cold place, and we're going to do it there uh, to get more Chocographs. So the next one we have is Abandoned Beach. So to get to Abandoned Beach, the best way to do that is you want to go to um, the Black Mage Village again. And get the, get the uh, Chocobo ones there. So once on your chocobo that you got by the ones for Q Marsh, just come over here near the beach and start hitting the ground. There it is. And right here we're going to get, uh, I believe, nine Phoenix Pinions. 9 Phoenix Pinions, 5 Phoenix Downs, 12 Peridot Gems, and 1 Diamond Gloves. Nice. Okay, now we want to obviously open our menu again and select the next Chocograph, which is actually going to be the Faraway Lagoon, which is over on, I believe the Faraway Lagoon is... Uh, oh man. All right. This one's going to be a little tricky. So first, you want to head to the Water Shrine. So right here, you'll see the Water Shrine. Now we want to go and look for the island. It's called the Everlang, I believe. Everlang Island. Um, it's to the left of the shrine so maybe this way I know that's to my right but let's see here's the island we want so on this little island you'll see these chocobo tracks just get those And this is Everlang Island. You'll see it right on the bottom there. Call your chocobo. And remember, you need the blue chocobo for this, because only it can go in shallow waters. And then you want to go directly west of the, uh, the water shrine. So that should be somewhere around this area. There, so we're starting to find it somewhere on our map here. I'll show you where that is. It's right in this area. Where could it be? There it is. Let's see what's in this one. 
37 potions, 6 magic tags, 1 shield armor, and 1 Gaia gear. Not bad. Not bad. And then we just want to head back to the airship. But, to do, before we do that, let's open our Trocograph menu and switch to Bird's Eye Lagoon. So for the Bird's Eye Lagoon, you want to go to the Q's Marsh closest to uh, Burmica. So let's go to Burmica first. So after grabbing the, the Chocobo uh, by Q's Marsh, <clears throat> by Limblum slash whatever, you want to head into the actual, like, water, and you want to be looking for that island, whatever that island looks like. Is this it? No. Looks kind of like it, but it's one of these islands out here. Here it is. It is this island. I lied. And that will find you a treasure chest that has, I believe, eight high potions, or eight potions, four phoenix downs, three ethers, and one magician robe. Nice. Now we want to open our Trocograph menu again, and we want to go to Small Beach. Small Beach, alright. And that's our last Trocograph before we have to go uh, learn more, basically. So the best way to get to this place is you want to go to the Chocobo Forest. So you're at this, you want to go across this bridge, and then you want to go to this water right here, and you want to go down. And follow these waters. And you'll get to uh, Landshake Island, and the treasure is here. Is this it? Yeah it is! Boom! This will get you four remedies, two elixirs, eight rising suns, and one oak staff. Uh, nothing really great there. And after that, we now want to head to the next place that we can go to learn to actually play the Chocobo Hot and Cold. Uh, like the Chocobo Forest, but this is actually like a lagoon. So, yeah. I'll show you guys, I'll see you guys when we get there and I'll tell you how we got there. Then you want to come over here. You'll see where we are right on the map, this little set of islands, and you'll see this little cubby hole, yeah? So from here, you, there's no chocobos, no chocobo tracks on here, but this is where you want to go. So what, what do we do? What do we do? So you can come over here, and there's chocobo tracks literally right here. And you want to run this side all the way around this island. Ah, oh, you gotta go around the other way. I'm- I'm sorry. Forgot how long of a trek this is. So you actually have to go all the way around. Just keep following this shallow water. They don't make it easy for you. Lead right to this little channel thing, and here we are on the side. And then boom. Now this plays out exactly like Chocobo Forest did, except this is like Chocobo Lagoon type of thing. Look at how pretty. Chocobo Lagoon. Chocobo's Lagoon. And our friend, the Moogle, is back. Mean, what are you doing here? I did some research and wound up here, Kipo. There's holy light similar to that of the forest. I know we can find chocographs here, Kipo. Let's dig around some more, Kipo. It's tougher to dig in bottom of Lagoon than it is in forest. It is. So, it'll always take longer to dig in here. We can only dig in the shallow parts. Choco doesn't like it to go in deep water. So the area is limited, Cupo. Okay, so I'll make it half time, half price. So yes, you want to play. So this plays out exactly like Chocobo Forest. So just go around digging until you think you are close to a spot. And then when you find it, make sure you dig quickly 
because it'll take you forever to actually dig in this part. So keep digging, 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 digging. That was just Geishel Greens and it took us that long. And we got eye drops. So this will take significantly longer, so be prepared to spend some time here. I'll see you guys when we find a trochograph. But, again, this is the only place you can find the trochographs, so stick around and try to find them. If you're into that. If not, well, this is just a loose ends video, so why are you watching? So here we found one that's over 80 feet in depth, and that had a trochograph. Cool! And Choco's beak became stronger, which is good, because it's going to need to be for this place. So just keep playing until uh, Mean Mene Men says that there are no more chocographs located in this place. It's going to take you a very long time, so you don't have to do it if you aren't into into getting stuff like this. Just heads up. Now I just found something else at about a hundred feet, so that's going to be a, another. Uh, that was a Kakusha, actually, which was interesting. I would have rather a chocograph, but I'll take it. Yeah, we found a potion in a Kakusha for 32 points. Not bad. And we leveled up our beak. Alright, so it looks like we've completed all of the Chocograph area here, at, for now anyways. Uh, he can't actually go into this, this uh, deeper water yet. Eventually he'll be able to, but for right now he can't. I think we about found about three or four chocographs. Let's find out right now. It took us close to close to 45 minutes, so not that bad. So if you look, you'll see we have one, two, three, four that we haven't actually seen yet. Now, the only thing is, is this Dusk Plains, you need to be able to cross mountains to be able to do, uh, which is perfect because Dawn Lagoon will actually give us the ability to cross mountains. But, first, I need to go check something, and then I'll show you where the next one would be. Now, once you complete the Lagoon, Mean will suggest that you go back to Chocobo Forest to finish looking for chocographs there. Um, I'm checking to make sure that that's just a predetermined thing that he says, and it has nothing to do with actually needing to go back. So, I'm just gonna go to the Chocobo Forest, that's it for me, and then I will, I'll see you when I'm done doing that. So there is nothing we can do at the uh, Chocobo Forest right now, which I figured. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to go back to our Chocograph menu and we want to choose the Forgotten Lagoon. Uh, and the Forgotten Lagoon is going to be our next Chocograph. Now with that, that means we need to fly to Estogaza. Although we can't go to Estogaza, but we can fly to it. <clears throat> so we're going to fly to Estogaza and use the Chocobo tracks that are right by there and go to the beach, and then we're gonna move south uh, through the shallows and get to the island that the Chocobo, the Chocograph describes, and some really cool treasures are actually at this one. Some really cool ones, in fact. Then we wanna go south and just follow these shallows. Yeah, so we wanna follow these and it'll lead us to this area. If you see, this looks exactly like what we're looking for. So you want to run around. I believe it's on this side. Yeah, it is. So just keep hitting around and you'll find it. And you're going to get eight Geishel Greens, five Ethers, uh, seven high potions and one dragon's claw, which is actually what we wanted to synthesize earlier in the video So that's actually perfect that we have that because now we don't have to worry about it and then just return to your airship Well, that's not true So open your trochograph menu again and the next one that we're going to choose is going to be the abandoned lagoon
So we chose the abandoned lagoon, which is great because now we can go and we want to use the chocobo tracks that are near the black mage village. On the outer continent, obviously. So go all the way over here, there by Q's Marsh. I think we want to use... Might be some... Further over here, possibly. There they are. So we want to use these ones. Which will then lead us to this beach. And I believe it's this way. It's this way. Because here's Fossil Roo. So it should be right over here. This looks familiar, right? There we go. And that will get us six softs, four ethers, and one feather boot, and uh, one Inkai armlet. So that's cool. And then we'll return to the thing, but open your Trocograph menu first because we have one more destination to go to, which will then allow us to do uh, the Dusk Plains. But first, we need to grab it, and that is the Dawn Lagoon. Alrighty. So, from here, we want to head to Treno. But the best way to do this would actually be from... Tr so Trino is right over here, right? Or, uh, where is Trino? Right here? So we want to actually go to the Chocobo Forest, right here, and then over around here is where we need to go. And this will be cool, because this will lead us to our red Chocobo, which has the ability to cross mountains, which is very cool. Choco's becoming real strong. Alright, so here at the Chocobo Forest, we need to just grab the uh, tracks. There they are. Now, a lot of people have trouble uh, doing this once it hits disc 4 and the mist has started. I don't understand why. And in fact, you can't actually finish the Chocobo Hot and Cold game until after Disc 3. So, I don't know. I don't know why people complain. Ah, we need that beach. I got it on the wrong beach. So you want to just head to this. And it's just southeast. You'll see the environment start changing. And it'll be around here somewhere... This island should look familiar. And it's around here. There it is. Found a treasure chest. And... Strange smoke appeared. Getting sleepy. Whoa. So we're back in the Chocobo Dream World, it would seem. And you can see the Chocobo, and then the Mountain Chocobo, and then the Deep Ocean Chocobo, and then the Golden Chocobo. Which can go anywhere. Wanderer, we await your return! Choco, you now have the ability to climb mountains. You are heading towards your homeland. Hurry home. Homeland, huh? Interesting. Perfect! So now we have Choco Chocobo who can cross mountains, which is awesome. He can't use the shores, but he can do this, which is pretty cool. Go right to Treno. Look at that. A new Choco. So, now we only have one more destination to go to, which is the Dusk Plains. See, we did all of these already. 
Now we need to do dust planes. So for this, what we want to do is we want to head to Oilvert. It's by Oilvert, but it's actually the tracks that we want to use are on the northern side of... So, so Ispen's Castle is here, Water Shrine's here, Oilvert is down here. We actually want to use... Where is it? So we want to go over all the way to this Q's Marsh, I believe, and that will give us the... Uh, the Chocobo tracks that we will need, I believe. And then we want to run all the way down south towards Oilvert. Alright, so, if you look on your map, you'll see these Chocobo tracks are right here. So grab these. I believe these are the ones we need. And then just run south. Now remember, you can go over mountains and everything, so you can just do a clean shot, basically. So it's just to the southwest of Oilvert. We can run up these mountains, obviously, so we're not really restricted there. You'll start to see that we're coming close to Oilvert. Obviously, you can tell by the color change. So if you look on your map, you'll see that Oilvert is right here, so it's just to the southwest, so it should be in this area. And, looks familiar, right? There it is. And in this treasure chest, you're gonna get 12 Phoenix Downs, uh, 14 Ores, 1 Kaiser Knuckles, and 1 Iron Man card. Neato. Alright. So from here, we now want to go all the way back north. And we don't have any more Chocograph menus that we can actually open. Um, I believe that's literally all that we have available to us as of right now. So we actually want to go back to... Um, we want to go back to the Chocobo Lagoon and see if he has more Chocographs for us. Alright, so you can head back to the Chocobo Lagoon now after turning... Uh, turning Choco Red, and you'll be able to get some more uh, items now. You can get more Chocographs, so go ahead. Good luck. You can also get something called the Dead Pepper. Actually, in fact, you need it. This is a super spicy pepper, Cupo. It was precious seasoning long ago. The mist wiped out plant that grow these peppers, though. You should keep it, Cupo. It might come in handy. It will. It's actually the only way to get a certain uh, chocograph to work. You need to be able to use the Dead Pepper. Now, at some point while you're doing this searching at the Chocobo Lagoon, you'll find that, again, for the second time, uh, Choco can't learn, uh, can't find any more uh, Chocographs. In fact, he the only ones he found were these Chocograph pieces. So, hmm. Hmm. So after receiving the mountain uh, climbing ability, you can head on back to Chocobo Forest and see if there are any more available pieces there, because it seems like we have finished everything in the lagoon. So if you come back to Chocobo Forest, once you have the mountain climbing ability, it seems like you do. You are able to uh, be digging in the forest, which is great, because it's easier to dig here, especially now that we have a uh, super upgraded beak. Now once you have the mountain climbing ability, you can actually do this and go all the way up here, and I believe you can also do the same on this one. Just so you know, in case you can't find any items. Alright, so now that we've done everything that we can in both the forest and the lagoon, we got a ton of, uh, of chocographs, actually. Well, not a ton, but four, which is pretty good. 
Uh, so we have the Forbidden Forest, the Green Plains, Forgotten Plains, and then Cold Lagoon, which we can't get to until we can move over sea. So, the first one we want to choose is we want to do the Forbidden Forest. The Forbidden Forest actually isn't that bad, it's actually fairly easy to get to. Um, it's the mountain range just to the west of Dali, so we can use the ones right out here. So literally we can just leave and then go to this, this one is super easy to get. So we want to go right here, right in this big middle thing. That's called the Forbidden Forest. Pretty easy to get to, especially since we can climb mountains. And you'll see it right in here. Woohoo! And that will give us seven ethers, I believe. Seven ethers, two elixirs. Yep, seven ethers, two elixirs, ten wing edges, and one high mage staff. Alright. Now the next one that we want to do is we want to open our menu and use uh, Green Plains. Now the Green Plains, once we find that, that's also going to give us the ability to... Uh, 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 it's going to give us the ability to um, cross deep seas. So that'll be cool. Alright, so now we need to look for the mountain range by Alexandria. So we don't want to go this way because this is Burmica. We want to go this way. Uh, yeah, this way. Um, so obviously, Alexandria is over here, so we want it somewhere along this area. So that's where we want to go. Alright, so it's this mountain range right here on your map. You'll see where right where we are. I thought it was down here, but it's actually right over here. Which is fairly easy. Obviously, you'll see relatively close to finding it. There we go, and this will release a sleeping gas, which will knock us out and allow us to be able to cross deep oceans. Welcome back to Chocobo Dream World. Now we're going to turn into that darker blue purplish one. Wanderer, we await your return. Boom! You now have the ability to cross oceans. You are getting close to your homeland. All right. Now the next thing we want to do is open our Chocograph menu and go all the way down to uh, Forgotten Plains is going to be the one that we will do. Yeah, because we can do Cold Lagoon, Cold Lagoon now. Alright, Forgotten Plains. So the Forgotten Plains is fairly easy to get to. It's actually down by Ibsen's Castle, so we want to go all the way. We want to go back to our airship and fly to Ibsen's Castle. We want to come here by Ibsen's castle and grab these chocobo tracks and from here we can grab these and use Geishel Greens. And then it's somewhere along the hills of this peninsula. So you can see the green and these hills. So it's somewhere up here, just keep going and, and, and hitting, and you'll find it in no time. There we go. This is the Forgotten Plains one, so that's going to give us 17 ores, 5 ethers, 4 opals, and 1 demon's mail. Neat. Alright, now open your Chocograph menu. Now you should only have a couple more. The next one that we have is the Cold Lagoon, right? I think that's it, just the Cold Lagoon. Now 
Now, the Cold Lagoon one actually has some of the most boring uh, rewards we could get. But whatever. What are you going to do? So, from this one, we want to go to Estogaza. And use the uh, Chocobo tracks that are right by there. Because where we're going is actually just west of the uh, the fire shrine, so it'll be right in this little area right here. That's where we need to go. So from Estogaza, you want to get on these tracks, which we've used many times before. And then go to the ocean, and now you can obviously cross the entire ocean. So just run around until you get to the glaciers on the side there. So you'll see right here, you'll see the glaciers we were talking about, and the actual uh, item is in these waters. Where is it? Why isn't it working right here? Or is it in here? There it is. Alright. So it's in this little area, just come around and click. It's got to be in the water, obviously, because boom. There we go. And that will give us boring 11 Peridots, 9 Opals, 15 Sapphires, and 19 Topaz. Okay, whatever. And then, of course, we want to go all the way back around and to the Invincible. Now, from there, we actually need to go to the Lagoon. Because uh, the Lagoon has got some more for us, especially now since we can actually go into the deep end of that Chocobo's Lagoon. And it's a lot easier to get to now, so that's our first stop. So, once you're here at the Chocobo Lagoon, uh, now, instead of running around, you can just go here and just cross the ocean. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Now, we're actually almost done with this minigame. There's only 24 treasures that you can get, and we're already at 17. So we're actually really, really quickly getting this over with. Alright, so here we are in the Chocobo's Lagoon. Now I still haven't decided actually. You look kind of dirty, Cupo. <laughs> Whee! Did I hurt your feelings? I'm sorry. Well, it doesn't matter what color you are, Cupo. You're still my Choco. Alright, so now the game here is going to get a little bit longer, because we have full uh, length of the lagoon. Now we also have a very, very strong beak. I believe we got it up to level uh, 30... I want to say we got it up to level 34. So, we're pretty strong. Now, what I was going to say is, I'm not sure if you're actually seeing this... Um, before or after the events of the end of the game. I'm not sure if I've decided yet what I how I want to do this. Also, I'd like to mention that if you find eight, more than eight things, he's going to tell you that you're going out of business, blah blah blah, and then you'll get a ton of points. Like, we'll probably get uh, 160 limit bonus points, and our beak is at 38, which is super strong. So keep doing this until you have cleared out all the chocographs, and then you'll probably have to go to the forest as well. And once you have all six chocograph pieces, you'll get a, uh, a new chocograph. And at the same time, we also dug up all of the, uh, all of the things here. So, oh well. So we're pretty much done. And then he says, maybe you can get to some new locations using uh, a dead pepper. Maybe. 
So open your Choker Graph menu. And uh, the first one that you want to go, you have these. You have, um, let's see, we found 21. There's only 24 total. And we want, the, we have Sea at Dusk and we have Ocean. Instead, we're going to skip though and we're going to go straight to Mist Ocean. And I'll, sh I'll show you why when we actually get there. So for Mist Ocean, the best way to get there is it's to the north of Alexandria. The two landforms that you see in the picture is actually two islands. So it's all the way in by Alexandria. So the best way to get there is to um, probably fly and use Q's Marsh. So I would I would obviously ditch this, and uh, you can probably go right outside of Trino. Or let's see what would be the best Chocobo tracks to get to where we have to go. So we want to go to these basically these islands right here. Um, Huh. You know, let's go. Let's let's go to Alexandria Harbor. I can't remember if there's chocobo tracks near there. All right, so we're here, and I don't think there's any chocobo tracks. Oh, here they are. Okay, so there are chocobo tracks right here. So we can get out and use your Geishel greens here. Get on Choco, and you need to find a beach. Whatever beach is nearby, and there's one right here. So from here, you also want to look for these two islands to the north of Alexandria. So if Alexandria is right here, we need to go to these islands. Luckily, we can cross on anything. So that's always good. Keep this open. All right, now you'll see these two islands. I believe these are the ones we're looking for. There we go. So it's just in the ocean a little bit more. So go ahead, poke around. It's gonna take a while because you're in the damn ocean. over a huge area too. So just keep doing this until you find exactly where that treasure would be. There we go. We found a treasure chest and we're gassed. Strange smoke appeared, getting sleepy. And here we are back in Dream World, and we only have one upgrade available for us, and that's to the Golden Chocobo. The Golden Chocobo is basically like an airship. It can fly, so, and do everything that everything else can. So, Wanderer, we await your return. Choco, you now have the ability to fly the boundless sky. You can take off and land in any forest. You now have all the abilities necessary to reach your homeland. All right. So it's basically kind of the opposite of the airship, whereas the airship, can, I don't think, can land in, in, in forest, the Golden Chocobo can. All right. So now that we have our Golden Chocobo, we just want to go back and now open your Chocograph menu. And the next one that we have is Sea at Dusk, I believe? Yeah. Yeah, we did everything but Sea at Dusk. Okay. So we want Sea at Dusk. Which is to the north of the Wind Shrine, um, and to the east of Oilvert. So, cool. Alright, let's run around to this, and I'll show you how he can fly. So once you're in the forest, you can just hit X, and you can fly. And you can... You can't land, though... You can only land in another forest. So you can go in this forest. 
pretty sure you can't land. Yeah, you can't land. You can only land in the forest. Just like that. And then hit circle. There you go. To make it easier, though, we're just going to take the airship. So, to do this, the best way to be would go to... Uh, so, the oil vert is right here. The wind shrine is right here. So, let's go to the wind shrine. Now, I can't actually remember if there's some tracks near here, but there should be. And lucky for us, there's chocobo tracks right here. So if you open your map, chocobo tracks. So unfortunately, you're not going to find any beaches uh, on that continent. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to find another beach. And the closest of which is probably going to be on the Outer Continent by the Black Mage Village. But of course you have free range, so as soon as you do that, you can just run towards where you need to go. Clear across the ocean. So if you look from here, you can see that this looks relatively like what we're looking for. And that's because it is. So just bop around in the ocean for a little bit. And there we go. So in this one, I believe we'll find 15 Phoenix Pinions, uh, one White Robe, one Diamond, and one Massa Moon card. Nice. All right, and then from here, I wish we could just climb up here, but we can't. We need to go all the way back to find a beach and a forest. So we can fly back to our airship. At the same time, you can open your Chocograph menu. <laughs> and uh, let's do ocean, actually, because we might be able to just run to it. All right, so it's on the other side of this island. I think Everlang is right here, so we want to look over in this area. Might as well do this while we have our chocobo out. So it's a little bit to the west of a Everlang Forest, uh, Everlang Island. Which is this island right here, which also has a Q's Marsh. There's a Q's Marsh right here, which I always forget about. So here's Everlang Forest, or Everlang Island, I should say, and it's literally just to the west of the island. So you're here at the island, go west, and hopefully you find it because it's in a pretty vast area. There we go. And this is going to have some pretty cool things. This is going to have 27 ores. A light robe, which we couldn't steal from, uh, which we we couldn't steal from Kuja, a whale whisker, and one Alexander card. Neat. Now you can open your Chocograph menu, and we only have one more available to us without having to go back to any of the places to do this. And this is called Outer Island Two. I think there's a desert nearby, so obviously that's near Desert Palace. So let's make sure that we go back to our airship, which we can easily do by jumping on this. and flying on back to our airship. Remember, we can only land in a forest. So once on, you want to fly to Desert Palace. Which is right over here. The Choco Bow tracks that you need should be over here somewhere. 
Right here. Boom. Right by the Q's Marsh. So use these. We've used these Chocobo tracks a lot. And you're going to need to fly to the island, so... You know. So it should be over on this island right here, I believe. You can land here. Yeah. There we go. And you'll get 11 sapphires, one circlet, one pumas piece, and one Hildegard 3 card. Gnarly. And that's all we have for those. However, there is a tiny little secret area that we can go to. All right. So, there's some areas that you can kind of start to look for. And you'll see maybe, possibly, dark shadows on the ground in one of two places. One near the Desert Palace, where we are right now. And another by the Savage Archipelago, which is where we used uh, Choco to get to the um, uh, the lagoon, the Chocobo Lagoon. It's most commonly there, so let's go over and look there. Now this is one possible spot that the thing can show up, whatever we're looking for. So basically you'll see a shadow on the ground, and when you do see that, you want to use one of your dead peppers. All right, so we finally found it. It's over here on the Mist Continent, so it's got five possible spawning locations, and I'm gonna try to post a map on this picture or in the in this video or in the description of this. So it constantly moves uh, above you, so you need to be basically in the center of it, open it up, and feed a dead, pep uh, dead pepper, and you'll skyrocket on up. Upon doing so, you will arrive here in the Chocobo Air Garden. This is one of the hardest and one of the most rewarding of the, uh... Of the, uh, Chocobo Hot and Cold areas. So Chocobo can fly like me. Wow, that's great. Say, did you notice, Cupo, this island is floating on clouds? Location of island might change when you go back down, so check its location on the map by pressing select. Cool! So now you can start playing Chocobo Hot and Cold. Same rules apply. Except this time, you'll have to hop between islands and everything else, and it's it can be a little challenging. However, I would say that you get more points off of off of this little bit. So you can ah, uh, that's not what I meant to do. So you have to hop into the clouds. You can't actually do anything, and then you have to hop over here. So it takes a little bit longer to travel. I did not mean to do that. So this is going to be a little bit harder of an area, but you're going to get better points. Uh, well, not better points, but more points for uh, individual things. And after four discoveries, you double the points and you get 10 extra seconds, just like just like earlier. Sometimes you can get really lucky and they'll be all on the same island. And sometimes you can get really unlucky and you have to run around uh, to a hundred different places to try to get it. And we, darn it. That's okay. So keep farming here until you have all of the chocographs that are available here. Now remember, there's only like three left in the entire game, so this should be fairly quick and easy. So he says. Now I personally hate the air garden, so you know. I think you're ready to go to the unmapped Chocobo's Paradise. Choco wants to go too, Cubo. Try using the dead pepper. That's what I think. Cool. So we actually have all 24 uh, of the things that we need now, which is great because we're going to... We're, uh... 
Yeah, it's cool. This is good news. We now have all of the chocographs, and we can just finish up this side quest, and then I can show you guys Chocobo Paradise. Okay, so you want to open up your chocograph menu, and you want to go to Outer Island. Outer Island is the first one that we have on our list here. As you see, we have Inventory 24, Location Found 21. We only have three left, so Outer Island is the first one we're going to go to because it's the closest one uh, to our thing, and boom. Alright, so we're going to look for the Outer Island, the first Outer Island. We already did Outer Island number two, but this one isn't very big. This is located northeast of the Desert Palace, so the Desert Palace is right over here. Where is it? Right over here. And is it this island? No, I think it's a smaller island. Might be this one right here. Possibly? Or am I being crazy? So, from Desert Palace, you want to go northeast. So, it should be this island right here. So, land in the forest. And it should be over in this area somewhere. And there we go. We found a treasure chest, and in this we are going to get uh, 21 amethyst, 16 garnets, 1 gingy armor, which is awesome, and 1 Ragnarok. What is the Ragnarok? Huh. Huh. I'll show you guys after. Alright, so open your trochograph menu, and let's go to Fairy Island. So we have all of these done, that's crazy. So Fairy Island is next. Uh, the island is located actually to the southwest of the Ifa tree, so we can just pretty much fly straight across this continent. And it's actually basically on Vile Island. It says Fairy Island, but it's not. It's Vile. Uh, the Yans there will kill you. So, yeah. So it's this island right here. And we want to land in this forest. And we want to use it. Should be at the base of the mountain. Why aren't we being able to find it? There it is. Alright. There we go. And from this, we are going to get... 33 potions, 15 anointments, 1 holy mitre, and 1 dark matter card. Discarded items over 99, discarded cords over 100. That's not good. That's not good at all. Luckily, if you did what I did and you accidentally lost the Dark Matter card, you can actually win it from the Dark Phantom at Memoria, uh, which we haven't really talked about yet. So there are ways to get rarer cards, um, but they're very, very hard battles. So I am going to make sure that I have enough room when we actually get to those points. So anything weak like that that only has one arrow, goodbye. Even this can go bye bye. Okay, so now that we did the fairy air uh, island and lost a dark matter card because we we're awful, we we're awful, awful people, we want to go to the forgotten island. So you can open your chocograph menu, and here we're going to get some really great items. But make sure that you have room for the. Uh, the really cool thing that I was talking about. The really cool thing, the cards. Jeez, what am I, I'm distracted. I did not mean to get off of that. Okay, so now we need to fly. Like an eagle to the sea. It's the island that's located at the north of the forgotten continent. Yeah, we can do that. So remember, watch out for this this sucker. Okay, so the next one we're looking for is the Forgotten Island, which is just north of the Forgotten Island, but south of the uh, the other con the Lost Continent, I believe it is. So what we need right now is you'll see it on your map. It literally looks like a chocobo, and it's right here. If you look at the map, the way that it's shaped, it looks like a chocobo. 
So you want to land. And this is the head of the chocobo. All right, and there it is. So it's right on top of this little mountain thing, and we got a treasure chest that has one ribbon, one rebirth ring, 13 amethyst, and one arc card. All right. Now, I don't think there's any other way to get that arc card, so make sure you got it then. All right, now what we want to do is you can get on out, and let's look at some of the items that we got. So obviously the rebirth ring is very, very powerful because it gives you auto life, which is very worth having. Um, and that's pretty much it. And then there's also, we got a sword, I believe, for uh, for Steiner called Ragnarok, which is going to be really, really, really great. You can also equip dagger now with the whale whisker that we got from uh, one of the one of the items. Because all she's learning is Krega, which she was learning from Wizard Rod. And she doesn't need Wizard Rod anymore, so boom. Alright, now you want to jump on and look around and you'll see Shimmering Island. Right? We've been there before. But first, let's look and see, wow, all 24. Nicely done. 